Hey. Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you guys five ways to decorate your narrow passageways for your V Rising castle. This video is the third in a new series of tutorials I've put out regarding castle building. If you haven't seen my first video on stair layouts or my second video on the four tile build ideas, I'll be linking them here and in the description below. Make sure you stick around for the fifth example of this video because you're especially not going to want to miss that one. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to get started with example number one. For example number one, we have a scenario where we're reaching the end of the hallway. First step is to make sure we have the right foundation and wallpaper that we want. We're going to add a table. Let's add one of these uh, garden tables out here. And we're going to add a couple of chairs. Maybe this wall will have a window or something if it's connected to the outdoors. So let's try that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this out for a window wall. And I'm also going to add the wallpaper to this wall. And let's add maybe a nice window here. Let's go with something a little bit fancier, maybe something like this. And now we have a nice little end cap here. So what we can do is maybe there's a door here or maybe there's a door here leading to different bedrooms or different rooms in the castle. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the doors here. So now we have a little bit of space that still needs to be occupied. We have bare pillars, bare walls and um, that needs to be probably dealt with in some way shape or form what i am going to start with though is actually the carpet for example like this um, cordial rectangular rug might be something that you can use in your hallway instead of a regular carpet so i'm gonna try and add them together here and we're going to use that as our base. We could try like a yellow setup. Just figuring out what kind of vibe I'm going for is important. I'm not going for something super fancy here. So I could consider putting something like these vases here at the ends. Make sure you check out what colors you can put these vases as because you might end up having to change your vases later if you can't quite get the color that you want. For this example, I think I'm going to probably just use um, the one on the right. I think I want the one on the right a little bit more. Um, I could also figure out what plant I want to use. So we have a few options. I like to use the um, plants that are mostly green in most cases. That way, if you change the flooring or the color or the thematic of the room later, um, you don't have to go through like a headache to try and fix that. Um, I could also change these to like a black color. Maybe the black wouldn't look as bad. Um, I think maybe I am going to go with a black color here just for these. For the walls and the hallways, something that I like to put down is something like paintings. So we could always put a nice painting up. Maybe um, we'll put up something like uh, this. And, you know, since we're going to have like the yellow, maybe we want to go with like a golden border on this thing. Remember, you can change the borders now of these paintings. That's something they added in 1.0. Um, maybe we want to do something else, like maybe we want to add some kind of wall ornaments. Um, so maybe we want to add like maybe a small bookcase or something here. Let's go with something like this. We could also put down some curtains. So maybe for the window here, we can put down something that covers the window a little bit less. I prefer like when we have like, um, chairs and, and table setups that whatever curtain covers the wall or covers the window the least, I think is probably uh, the best bet here. That's just my personal preference. Um, I could also uh, maybe use matching curtains. So maybe on these two sides, we have like yellow curtains that honestly look pretty nice. Not too bad. Uh, we could also add some storage containers if you want to in the hallway. So for example, underneath this frame here, uh, maybe I want to add something like a bureau or a secretaire or something like that. Maybe that might not be a bad idea. So something like that, um, maybe. I think this one probably fits best in that. Yeah, there we go. So now we have a nice little um, secretaire underneath the painting. Not only does it fill up the space underneath so it doesn't look as empty, but it also uh, tends to match well. And this is also like a wooden uh, storage container. So it, it looks very much like it, it belongs here. So if we want to add 
um, some bookcases we can. Maybe I'll tuck one in here. Well, actually, we could use a bust. Um, you could add a, a bust or two down here. Um, it fits just underneath the bookshelf, so it doesn't look too weird or out of place. Let's go with something like this and this. We'll put them side by side next to each other. Um, so maybe you have something like that in the hallway. What I could do though is I'm going to add an Omen long case clock, which is probably my favorite out of the three clocks that we have. And I'm just going to put it on this side. Now we didn't add any lighting to this hallway yet, so we need to definitely add that. Um, something that I tend to do a lot is I'll put um, chandeliers and stuff or flying lights in the hallways. Um, but in this case, we're not going to do that. We're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to try using this uh, Haunted Knights Cord Lantern. This lantern uh, comes with a DLC pack that is only available around like Halloween time. So don't worry too much about this if you don't have this yet. Um, hopefully they uh, release that. Uh, sometime this year just you know fingers crossed for any of the new players out there especially the ps5 peeps the hallway looks a lot nicer a lot warmer i decided to go with a natural colored light um, just because yellow is kind of a warm color i could also put a light above here which is also not a bad idea so i guess we could go with a haunted nights floating cord uh, i'm gonna put it right above and now there's a nice, wonderful light here, a nice warm atmosphere for you and a friend to chat and chill. So yeah, this is a this is a really simple setup, uh, not too crazy. Everything is decorated. Just remember that your hallways don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. I've done a lot of symmetrical looking hallways before, but whenever possible, I try not to because I feel like it adds a little extra character um, to the hallway. So yeah, that's example number one. For example, number two, we're going to do something a little different. This is going to be a continuous hallway rather than a hallway with an end cap. And for this hallway example, we're going to pretend that this hallway leads to nowhere. So maybe there's no doors on the left or right hand side, and we're just going down a really, really long corridor. I'm going to try maybe the imperious wall panels. Maybe this hallway looks a little bit too bland. So something I like to do with this particular wallpaper is actually add uh, pillars in between that are wooden because it just kind of pops a little bit more. I feel like the contrast is a little bit more uh, interesting. I did something similar in my uh, video where I made a hair salon. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll make sure to leave a link here and in the description below. Now the challenge with this is because there's no doors on the left or right hand side of this hallway, we have to kind of figure out what are we going to do and how are we going to do it? So. The first thing I'm going to do is maybe we're going to say that there are windows, right? Maybe this is a, uh, a situation where maybe one side it has all windows and the other side has nothing. Maybe this is leading to the outdoors and maybe this side is facing the inner parts of the castle. So in this example, I think I'm going to use something like a wooden window hatch here. This is the only window that like is truly a window that opens and closes. Um, we need more. <laughs> please, devs, add more, please. I beg of you. But yeah, I'm going to continue adding all of this in. Uh, it looks like I missed these pillars here. Sorry about that on the edge. Got to make sure I don't uh, miss the corners here, you know, little details like that. So now that we have a nice little balance where we have a, uh, a light wall with a dark um, window space, we're going to add some curtains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to decorations, wall ornaments, then window draperies. Let's go with something a little bit fancier here. And we're going to go with a completely different color. So let's go with purple. I think purple's a nice color. What we can do is maybe add something that complements the white wall a little bit more. And we need to choose something that isn't uh, clashing, but also isn't too uh, underwhelming. I think I'm going to go with uh this one actually this is actually the ancient symphony pattern from the castlevania pack maybe we want the hallway to look a little bit more unique so what we could do is we could add uh you know a color mixing so we could go purple then black then purple what i usually do is i stand really close to the doorway but i make sure 
that when I do it, it's like perfectly aligned. The little edges there are halfway through the barrier. So then once I click, I put them all together and it perfectly aligns. Now I'm going to make the center one black because we want a little bit of visual variety here. On the wall, we're going to maybe add something to freshen up the look. So I'm going to add, um, let's start with paintings. We're going to go with a simple looking sofa. Maybe the sofa is going to be purple just to stand out against the black floor. I guess you could use a distinguished side table here. Maybe we could put a vase here. Maybe we'll put a bookcase right here. We can center it and notice behind the wall it's very plain so we can go into decoration, castle wall draperies, and then we're going to add maybe like the one with the gold accents that might be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so that way the background or the space behind the bookcase doesn't look as empty and you're still following like the color scheme you could add like a small mirror here it doesn't really serve any real purpose other than just i guess being a wall mirror um but it does look nice so i will add it here and i think we'll do the same thing we did with the storage on the other end and maybe add something like this bureau and this bureau can sit underneath. That way the space underneath here is still uh, being occupied and it doesn't look too empty. Now we do have a little bit of a color imbalance here because there's a lot of white space here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to add something to this pillar. Let's go to decorations, pillar ornaments, banners. And then when I go to banners, I'm going to pick something that maybe is purple, there we go. So now we have some purple banners looking pretty cool. And maybe on this side, we don't add the banners, but we could add something like maybe pillar mounted lights. And for the pillar mounted lights, I could use maybe something like a candle sconce or something. Maybe this modest candle sconce might not be a bad idea. So I'll add a couple of these. And these look really, really nice in this hallway. But we are not done because the left side of the hallway is still in balance compared to the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add chairs or something. Uh, maybe some extra furniture for people to maybe sit and wait um, if we want them to. So maybe we'll put like a chair here and a chair here. Um, that way, like if we have any visitors who are chilling uh, or maybe they don't want to sit sideways on the couch, they can just sit down on one of these wonderful chairs. Uh, we could also do something like have a uh, maybe a mushroom terrarium. I absolutely love this item. It's so cute. Um, so I'm going to add this over here. Oh, wow. Apparently I can't straighten things. <laughs> and, you know, as you can see, you can look outside and you can open and close it. Now, this thing has a little bit of a glow to it, but I think it still looks pretty cool. Uh, so maybe we want to... Uh, create a little bit of privacy for this window. Maybe we don't want people looking inside from where we are. We could do something like add a folding screen of some kind and you can put the folding screen in front of the window to maybe hide it if you don't want to do that, but you still want the, like if you want privacy, but you still want the fresh air, you can do that. Um, you know, you could swap it this way as well. That's also a valid option, I think. But you know, that's just something to consider. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of options, a lot of cool, chill things you can do in the hallway. I think that something to keep in mind is that you don't want your hallway being a little too cluttered. Now, unfortunately, certain items like this does not uh, sit directly in front of the window. Uh, it's either left or right side, and I absolutely hate this. So we will not be using that, but I just wanted to show that just to make a point of it because um, that is something that might come up while you're decorating. So yeah, that's uh, example number two. For example number three, we're going to do something similar to what we did in example number one, but this hallway is going to be a little bit different with the door as the end cap. Like maybe this is a hallway that leads to the outdoors. We can put like a little uh, a gate here, but we still got to figure out what the rest of this hallway is going to have. So let's imagine that this hallway is closed on both the left and right side. Maybe there's a room over here. Maybe there's a room over here, but the doors are not part of this part of the hallway. I'm going to use the plain stone. This is something that I think is kind of a 
an undervalued um, type of wallpaper. This one is also one of the stone wallpapers, but it's a slightly different texture and color. And I absolutely love this. So we're gonna use green as our base color or as our main color here. And we're gonna start uh, decorating. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the pillar mounted lights and we're going to go for maybe an ardent candle sconce and we're going to add maybe these candle sconces throughout here and it's going to be all four sides. Maybe I want to add um, like a different color. So if I want to add, maybe I want these to be green, I can make them green. So yeah, let's do that. And we're going to add maybe, uh, I guess we could add a few different things. We could add this table here, this uh, coffee table. So maybe we want the coffee table to just kind of chill out in the hallway. You can still kind of walk through without bumping into it, which is nice. So yeah, you could do something like that. Maybe we want to use a wall ornament of some kind. Maybe we want to add something like... Um, this wall shelf of ingredients or something we could add maybe um, let's go with some wall draperies we're gonna go with the simple curtains here the uh, orderly wall draperies and maybe that green is going to be there on these sides I think maybe um, we could do something like that throughout the other ends but I think maybe a painting or two wouldn't hurt so we're gonna add a couple of paintings here we're gonna add one here maybe one here just to uh, mix up the look of the hallway and maybe we want to add a carpet so we can add maybe this gloom rot carpet looks pretty cool maybe we could do something like that this is part of um, I forgot the name of the pack but it's it's basically the groom the gloom rot pack um, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it, but if I do, I might uh, type it on the screen here if I remember to do that also. Um, but yeah, we have all of this. So now we have a nice little green going on here, a nice little theme. So maybe we can go with like some chairs. Maybe we want to go with something simple like these brown chairs here. Um, you could put one here and put one here. And it's a little bit cozy uh, in between here. Not too bad. Um, we could also add maybe a vase or two here, which might not hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add maybe something like this. Uh, we'll go with like a green vase and I'm just going to plop that there. And maybe we're going to go with this other green plant because why not? Um, so now it's a little bit more uh, cohesive. I think we have a little bit of everything. You know what? Actually, let's put a wine case here. Let's put a wine case here. So that way, you know, we can quench our thirst if need be. You know, maybe this hallway leads to the outdoors. So maybe we want to put something like, I don't know, an armor rack or something. So maybe we can go back to the storage, uh, maybe add a weapon storage right here. That might not be a bad idea. You know what? That's kind of crowded. So I'm actually going to move it here instead. Maybe we'll add another couple of chairs, you know, when in doubt, like if you're not sure what to put anywhere, I think chairs are a pretty safe bet just because like they're always useful and I feel like you don't really have to justify their existence because they have a purpose in your castle regardless of whether or not you use them. So at least that's how I see it. Uh, we could also go with something like with wall ornaments. Maybe we want to change it up and go for something like this hunting trophy or we could go for something like, you know, this nightfall wall banner or something. All right, so we're going to use a wall banner there instead and maybe we'll have a small table or some kind of small store storage underneath so maybe something like the secretary can use this again uh, another great example I think this is the same one or similar one to the one I just used. no it's a different one the other one is this I think yeah it's a different one but um yeah you can you know maybe squeeze through the hallway here but notice you're you're not really blocking the path like as long as you can walk through from the very center of the carpet I think it's it's probably safe that's usually the test I use to determine whether or not the hallway is like too overcrowded and uh yeah the green is uh doing green things uh something that I forgot to do it was actually changed the foundation so what we can do is we could add maybe a carpet you know this green carpet is kind of maybe overdoing it a little bit but if you zoom in sorry my mouse is a little squeaky but if you zoom in it actually doesn't look too bad it kind of mixes in and it looks well so if you want the whole hallway to look green but maybe have this nice green strip you could use the green tailor flooring 
Uh, that is the Myrtle floor carpet. That's what it's called for those of you wondering. Um, yeah, so I can use that underneath as filler and now you have a nice carpeted hallway. So for the next example, we're going to do something a little bit different. This is example number four, and this hallway has five tiles instead of three. Five tiles is a lot of tiles to work with, but we're going to assume that maybe this is near the edge of a building or something. So maybe we'll have a door here leading to a room or maybe this door leading to a room. And maybe we have a couple of windows or something, maybe um for this particular hallway we have a window there um so yeah we have a little bit of a balance i like to have a setup where the doors are not directly across from each other i'm actually going to demonstrate real quick so let's say i have this door here right and let's say this is a door and this is a door and i put two doors together right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys exactly why I hate this. So if I open these, notice the two doors overlap in the corner. That looks absolutely ridiculous. So I really do not recommend doing that if you can help it. Uh, then again, it's a matter of taste. But uh, yeah, if we were in that kind of scenario, uh, maybe consider that. Actually, you know what? Let's go with a red color pattern. So we're going to go with maybe something a little bit fancier. We're going to go with these doors, maybe for the wallpaper, if we're going to change that up to something a little bit more, it's kind of matching. So all of this is matching very, very fancy, right? And let's maybe go with some kind of nice windows. We could go with something like, um, maybe that window has something like that. Can't really see out of the window, but it is really nice and decorative. So eh, why not? Uh, maybe we'll add a different foundation. Let's use the uh, burgundy carpet. Actually, we're going to use the burgundy carpet for the for the flooring here. Um, it kind of matches the walls a little bit. It's a little off in color, but it's so close. You might as well keep it. Um, maybe we'll have overhanging uh, lights, maybe something like the Gothica hanging lantern. You could do like an every other light lamp kind of setup, or maybe you have the lights going in like a zigzag rather than having them equally on each pillar. And this also opens up the possibility of doing something else with the pillars. So you can go to decorations, pillar ornaments. Uh, in this case, we're actually going to add a uh, banner that is flush against the wall. Uh, I'm going to go with a black banner, maybe. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, the black banner looks fine. So I'm just going to add these on every pillar that does not have a light. So we're going to go back out here. We're going to zoom in, carefully align, make sure that we're halfway through that divider. And now we should have a perfect hallway setup, uh, maybe another couch or something. So we can go furniture, sofas. Uh, maybe we want to go with the distinguished uh, Devon or Devon. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but we're going to go with that. Uh, if we go with the red one, it's fine. But I think if we go with a black, yep, just as I suspected, that contrast pops a little bit more. Um, I try to use colors that are not all the same in some places. That way we have a little bit of visual variety, as I like to say. Uh, let me just fix this chessboard. I have the wrong orientation there. Uh, maybe we want to add some chairs that are also pretty fancy. We can go with some black chairs. We can have one uh, right here and one right here. And they sit pretty flush against the wall. So uh, it's definitely a really nice setup here. Maybe instead we can add uh, some bookcases. Maybe we want to add a mushroom terrarium here, you know, just to brighten up the hallway a little bit. Maybe a nightfall wall plaque might be pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go with that one. We're going to go with red. How does that look with the red? It's okay. Maybe we can go with a black. Oh, that stands out way more. Uh, it looks really, really neat. It'd be like another hallway mirror or something. Maybe like something like this with like a, uh, goldish trim. And maybe we want to add a storage container, like maybe this bureau. It's pretty low key. So maybe this bureau might be a good fit for this hallway and you can put it right underneath here. Maybe we want to add some vases. We could still add vases. We haven't done that yet. Um, maybe I want to go with something a little bit fancier, maybe something like this. And maybe I want to go with a black. I could put two vases on the sides here. 
we can add um let's go with the green plants here you know just for this example as well and yeah so this this looks pretty cool uh it looks like we need to add a curtain here so we're just gonna do that real quick uh so we're gonna go with the red maybe we don't want just one large bookcase maybe we want uh, a couple of bookcases just to kind of stand side by side uh kind of give the impression that you have different collections of books maybe instead of a book collection here we could have some other thing in the storage maybe you keep some plants or something some herbs i could use something like a uh maybe like a one tier bookshelf kind of thing. I know I keep bringing up the storage containers, but I really think that these are kind of unrated just in the sense that the amount of space they take up for what you're getting is just worth it. So yeah, we can stick this underneath here and it's already uh, looking really nice. Actually, you know what? Let's add a little bit more shrubbery to these rooms since it's very um, limited in what we're adding here. So maybe we want to add uh, maybe like one thing here uh maybe we want to add a couple of plants here you know just to kind of keep it looking uh maybe a little bit busier um we could add well i don't want to add plants on this side too because we've already done that so i'm just going to add plants here and there and there i like to add um the trellises indoors uh i think that it's also something underrated so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to remove this plant I'm going to move the mushroom terrarium over here to light up this uh, painting, which I like very much. And instead, I'm going to put two trellises on the sides of the, the wall here. Let's see if we can get it to align nicely. So we have a nice little setup. It's overlapping the, um, the nightfall wall plaque, but I don't think it's too bad. I think it's actually... Um, it kind of you know fills the space pretty nicely and of course we can just add a little bit of shrubbery within there just to add a little more greenery in here without using or overusing the vases so yeah this is this is a really nice hallway setup for uh you know maybe like a five tile hallway scenario where maybe you have uh two doors across from each other so yeah i really really like how this uh setup turned out now, last but not least, we're going to do example number five. We're going to be building a rooftop passageway. So I want to do something a little different, something that I, I love to do in my castles. Uh, we're going to add maybe a bridge here leading up to that spot. And maybe we'll add another bridge area on those sides as well. Um, I'm not going to put them over here because I already know what I'm going to do for those. But the reason why I'm using invisible foundation is because you can actually add fencing to invisible foundation. So we're going to do that here. Uh, let's go with this fencing. So we're going to put fencing here, there, and pretty much everywhere. Yeah, let's add some foundation. Maybe we want to use a walkway that's a little bit more earthy or something. Maybe some some like cobblestones or something. Now you're probably wondering why didn't I outline the sides here with the uh, fencing? Well, the reason why I didn't outline it with the fencing is because I wanted to add something a little bit different. Now this is kind of an outdoor indoor-ish area but this is more of like an outdoor rooftop kind of setup but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use the barrier entrance blocks on the sides here to kind of create a nice uh outdoor indoor feel where the sun doesn't get to you but you can sit here and chill we're going to add some benches so we're going to go to garden garden furniture noble garden bench and maybe we're going to place one uh Maybe like one here and just make it symmetrical. So that's that's going to look really nice. Uh, next, we're going to maybe go with some outdoor garden table setup. So maybe we want to do something like this over here. Uh, maybe we want to add a table in the very center of the square and then add um, the chairs after. So maybe we have a chair here. We can do like four way setup. Um, we could also add some hedges or maybe some archways to kind of make the um, the area look a little bit different. If I wanted to add this into my build though, I can't have 
uh, these railings up, so I'd have to remove these railings. So I'm just going to remove them for this portion of the build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, uh, we're going to go to, uh, garden, uh, garden planters, and we're going to go for some trellises, maybe a thick trellis like this. So now it's kind of sticking out a little bit here, but that's kind of intentional because we're going to add something here to balance it out. So maybe, uh, be well, before I do that, I'm going to add, uh, you know, a little bit of shrubbery to the top of these. Maybe we'll have some lighting, uh, but we're going to do some stuff with lampposts. So maybe we'll have a lamppost over here, maybe a lamppost over here. Uh, we could have a lamppost in this corner and this corner if we want to, um, just to kind of keep things nice and shiny. Uh, we could also maybe mirror that on this side. If I didn't want this centerpiece, right? Like, let's say I wanted to break up the bridge for some reason. I could add some lights here on the ground just to brighten up the bridge a little bit, make sure that it's not too dark when people are walking past. Um, maybe I want to add now some other lighting like maybe I could add some flying lights here uh, let's go with some you know flying candles maybe that looks pretty cool right and uh, maybe we want to add something else here so for this outdoor indoor area we could add something like if we go to garden garden uh, structures and then we can go to the alabaster small fountain you know maybe we can add a fountain here just to kind of uh, create a little bit of um, mental stimulation with the calm, relaxing water. Um, we could also do something like have a bird bath here at the end. Maybe, you know, we want to add something a little bit more visually interesting at the end of the hallway here, where I say hallway, but it's really like a bridge upstairs, right? Maybe some lighting. So what I like to use outside is I like to use the, uh, I like to go to lighting, pillar mounted lights, hanging lanterns, and then use the bale fire hanging lanterns because the bale fire hanging lanterns are, uh, all like fiery and I think that's just awesome. So we finally have fiery hanging lanterns, which is like really cool. Um, we could also put some out here if we really wanted to. Um, that's not the worst of ideas. So let's say for some reason I didn't like this, right? Maybe I wanted to add the trellis back in. I could add, I could go to uh, garden, garden planters, then back to trellis archways, uh, add the trellis back in, add the decoration back in, and maybe to uh, fix this, I could go and hit uh, walls, then go to castle pillar, add two castle pillars on the side. And now this gives me the option to add these uh, lanterns. So now I have lanterns inside and they're just underneath the trellis. So they're not clipping really. I mean, if you think about it, just the, uh, the strings are going through. But uh, yeah, walking through, I think it adds a nice little uh, bit of light. And then we had the bird bath and, you know, the water fountains at the edge here. Um, there's a lot of things we can do with this space. We're actually going to try going to garden, then planters. And maybe we can try some cool garden planters or something that might look a little bit cool. Um, we could go with maybe these rural trellises. We're going to go with this larger one, maybe. We're going to put that trellis there. We're going to add a little bit of symmetry here for this build. So we're going to have that there and we're going to add to add like the rose ones to match the other trellises. Very nice. Well, actually something I like to do uh, for these kinds of trellises, especially when they have uh, the rose pattern is I like to add my own roses. So I go to production, growing plots, and because we're not on grass, we have to use the small growing plots to hide it underneath. And you can put two squares next to each other on both sides, hide them underneath here. They're only barely visible. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a blood rose seed. And we're going to go with that. 
So I'm going to use this Bloodroot Seed here, there, here, and here. We're going to use the Tall Planters, though. And I'm going to put them here and there, here and there. And we're going to do the same trick, but we're just going to actually do the glitching flowers trick. So I'm going to go to production, growing plots, small growing plots, and then place one underneath each one. There we go. And then we're going to uh, add our roses. Notice that when I put the roses above, it immediately glitches to the top of the planter. So uh, yeah, definitely probably one of my favorite types of things to do in the game, admittedly. Um, but yeah, that works out really nice. Uh, maybe we can do something a little bit different. Maybe we can add, uh, you know, maybe a fancy looking trellis. So we're going to place two on that side. Maybe uh, we want to add some more roses or something to that. Uh, we could, if we want, also add uh, some growing plots to that. So I'm going to go back to the growing plots and add you know, maybe a square here and a square there. Another bench might not hurt. So we can go to garden, garden furniture, noble garden bench and add one here. I mean, if we wanted to, we can add another water fountain out here. That might not be a bad idea. You know, mental stimulation, maybe like another bird bath here. Actually, I'll put one here instead. So I'm going to remove the fountain. We're going to add maybe like a a medium one of these and maybe we'll put this right over here and maybe we'll add uh, our roses to this particular build maybe we have a little bit more um, I think something else that might fit well here would be uh, maybe if we go to castle then walls we can go to castle pillar get a couple more castle pillars in there add some lighting uh, Balefire hanging lanterns again. Actually, you know what? Maybe something like a rural trellis might not be a bad idea here. Um, that way you could still walk through and it's not too crowded. Um, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, we could add a couple of them to make sure there's enough uh, shrubbery in this area because it does look a little bit uh, barren. Uh, and here and there maybe we want to add a little bit of extra pizzazz like we did last time add small growing plots underneath i'm going to put two next to each other for each one and then we're going to go back we're going to add all of our roses well actually you know what let's add some garden planters we'll add a couple of them back here maybe one here and one here and then we can add maybe some growing plots Actually, let's do a couple of small ones here. Maybe this will be something that's a little bit visually different on this side compared to the other side. And then, of course, I like to add the little rose patches here. I'm going to add them in ourselves. And I believe that's it. So uh, let me just quickly uh, pass time by and we will see the final result. Let's see what it looks like at night. So it looks like our roses have fully grown in. They are glowing. They look absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like how this all ties in. And of course we have our nice roses on top here, which adds a little bit of life to this area. And like I said, there's plenty of stuff you can add, like you could add vases and things. I'm not going to do this right now, but you know, I think I've shown you guys enough examples, but yeah, uh, hopefully. Uh, this gives you guys some ideas as far as uh, some of the stuff that you can do for your narrow passageways. So what do you think of these examples? Have you used any of them before? Do you plan to use any of these examples in your own castles? What other videos should I make? I read every comment, so make sure to let me know. In case you don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I am a Shiloh Eats Quaintly, Reaper, and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, and usually stream V Rising on Thursdays, though this week it will actually be on Wednesday. I post my schedule every Sunday on Twitter, my fandom Discord, and the YouTube community tab, so make sure to check it out. 
If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more V-Rising content. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, Sholo out.